in in this part we will explain the sequence of control signal that happen in the cycle of executing an instruction the the actual function that we will explain today for arithmetic logic unit is just for function that is uh, enough to explain our example therefore we we have this uh, con four bit control for the arithmetic logic unit okay which encoded these four functions there are more because four bit can actually have up to 16 function okay so it just adds subset and or okay i will explain the instruction function and the relation between instruction and the lu operation the first one we load data from the data memory we just need to add to compute the effective address remember that for the load word instruction first from the the constant and the second is from the value from register we have to add those value together to become the actual address or we call effective address uh, similarly for store word we have to compute effective address so we use function add in the alu okay for branching subtract we use ALU to compare the value of two register. If it's subtract and it becomes zero, then those two registers are equal. Okay. And for the operation like add, subtract, and all is uh, corresponding exactly to the uh, function of ALU. It's the same name. Okay. Now you can see that how we use ALU to perform up, uh, execution of each of these instruction. If we consider those operation, we can use the actual func seven and func three, write this into a truth table of a kind of control logic. We have to, to change, remember these uh, two fields, are embedded in the instruction. We have to extract those instruction and what do you call encode it to become four bit LU operation. How this uh, operation can be encoded from the pattern of a binary bit in the instruction itself, right? So this is nothing more than just combinational logic. If you can write this two table, you can have the the, the circuit to to encode or we can say to to encode yeah the the ALU operation from the actual machine instruction itself all right x is like it can it not don't care is zero or one uh, we to shorten that we just write x so this can be either zero or one and the signal that we mentioned in the first part of the lecture which is a register write, ALU, memory, and so on. Register write just active when we want to write to the register. Okay. ALU source is select uh, between immediate value or the another register because this is distinguished between add and add immediate. PC source is means whether you want to execute next instruction or the branch instruction, okay? Um, and of course, memory read, just read the data memory. Memory write, just write the data memory. Memory to register mean the output from the data memory, right? We, we, we select it from the memory, going back to read it, or to select from the ALU. Is this one signal control, whether the data from data memory or from arithmetic logic unit going back to be written to register therefore when you read or try to understand data part you have to see every uh, everything that can it cannot separately explain between 
the, the, the action and the, and the blueprint. The, the, the action has the meaning inside the blueprint. So, so you, have to, you have to see this picture to, to understand the, 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 the effect of con each control signal. You can see additional round unit, which encode instruction into four bit ALU operation. So this is a new one, right? All the line connected to this uh, so-called control unit. We are not to get into the control unit, right? We just explain uh, sequence of these control signal. The additional one that you can see here is the branch. Uh, remember the zero signal from ALU. It used to, in conjunction with the control line called branch, if the branch is true and uh, it is actually equal or zero, then if you select the legs, the part one of this multiplexer, which choose the PC relative address to become the next program counter, all right? Next, I will explain each execution of each instruction, how our data part execute the instruction at. This sequence explain uh, the event that occur. I mean, the, the control line that must be active, okay? To, to make the execution of add instruction possible, okay? So there's four steps. One is uh, we read instruction from the instruction memory and we uh, increment program counter to the next instruction. Then uh, two value from the register read in from the register file and connected it to ALU port, okay? The third step is ALU operate on this data. The function of ALU is actually generate from this uh, blue part, ALU, ALU operation unit, which encode function of ALU operation, the four bit of ALU operation as the output. The blue line here, the, the thick line, is a line that is active in this instruction. And the result is written back to register file. You can see the picture that the, the thick line ch chain a little bit. Let, let's explain it. First, similar to every instruction, the, in, the instruction itself has to be read from instruction memory, okay? And the program counter uh, skip for the next instruction. And we read this value x2 from the register file. And then again, we compute the sum, right? Between these, the value of register and the offset to have effective address, okay? And we use that address, is the output from ALU, to read the data memory. And the data the memory is selected from this multiplexer to write into register. And similarly for store. Okay, for the last type of instruction is a branch. First, we inspect the, the, the actual instruction branch uh, to register and then the offset. We fetch instruction from instruction memory and increment program counter. You can see the program counter increment by four. Okay. Then we read the two register, okay, and then subtract them to, to get the, 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 the notification or the status zero here. Status from ALU is used with conjunction with the branch, sig branch control signal, which is generated by control unit. We will select the effective address, which is come from adding this offset, okay, from this unit to the program counter. So program counter plus of 32 bit offset come out here and update to next program counter. So the, the destination address to jump to. If 
uh, to register is equal. You can imagine the same. We can do branch if less than, branch if greater than, and so on, by using different LU operation, not explained in this example, showing you the uh, the bit in the in the instruction itself. We we call input. Okay, this come from decoding the the instruction bit, and this is a. Uh, output from our control unit. We show you the relationship between all these bit pattern. For, for you, it's it just, um, this is a kind of big combination logic inside the control unit. And that conclude how the, the, the data part and the control signal work together to execute all the instruction in RIS-5 that we pick just a few, four or five instructions to show you the working details, but you can imagine the rest is working similarly. Uh, this example is called single cycle processor. That means everything happened inside one clock, okay? We sound fast, but actually not too fast. The, the, all, the, the reason that uh, today processor did not use that because uh, they use a pipeline, which we will explain in the future class. It's, it, it's not efficient. Um, the delay inside all the data part is not equal. Okay. Therefore, the fastest clock has to be waiting for the longest delay. So it's a kind of worst case design. We can, we can increase the clock not much because there's a, we have to take account of the, the longest delay part, okay? To improve this, we study pipeline and actually pipeline also allow us to execute multiple instruction at the same time, okay? But the control is, be extended from this simple explanation. 